Now, I know that this video probably is not going to be very famous video due to the fact that people will criticizing me. They will criticize me no matter what they're going to say. Mr. 4K, even though you have all of these televisions, even though you've been doing this for, for a long time and we know that you have all of these televisions, but somehow you feeding us the OLED. But you got to ask yourself a question. Why is it that I'm feeding you the OLED? Guys, you have to ask yourself a question. What is it that you're looking for on the TV? Are you looking for a picture quality or are you looking for peak brightness with a decent black digital levels. Why is this picture looking so good? Why? Why is all this detail looking so good on this panel, on this OLED? Well, I can simply tell you the reason being is because this is something that you can do on emissive panel and what are we talking about remember how Ridley Scott talks about the uh, the importance of the darkness the blackness referring it also to the the, the light the bright light the darkness it's as important as it is the brightness now a majority of people would say well to me the the peak brightness is the most important because with the peak brightness I can actually see my content much better in a lit up environment sure that's true to a certain extent but remember, we're talking about a quality. I prefer the quality, picture quality. That's, isn't that what we're, what we're all thriving for? What is it that you're looking for? Let's be honest here, guys. Let, let's really be honest. What is it that you are looking for every and each year on your televisions? Picture quality. Am I right? Of course you're looking for picture quality. Whether it's your video games, whether it's your movies, you're always striving for that best possible picture quality. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is my fourth OLED so far, and God knows how many LCD, LED televisions I've been through. Not mentioning the projectors and monitors, etc., etc. And I'm here to tell you that OLED at the moment, as of me recording this video, currently right now, it's the only panel that's going to give you that crystal clear picture quality. No other TV out there is going to come close to the OLED in terms of picture quality. Nothing. Because I've seen it all. Why do you think Vincent Tio always goes back to the OLED? Why do you think he has so many OLEDs? Because Vincent Tio, even he knows, at the end of the day, the OLED is the one that's going to give him that picture quality. It's not going to be the LCD LED panel. And I'm conv convinced of this now myself because I have, guys, I have tested so many televisions in past five and a half years all kinds of televisions all kinds of brands and uh, the one conclusion I come to is that the OLED is the only panel right now that's gonna give me that picture quality until something else comes out something else comes around whatever that next thing is micro LEDs whatever you call it okay when it, whenever that next big thing comes out, guys, 
currently right now this is the king of the quality right now from the movies video games blu-rays whatever you feed onto it you are going to appreciate the picture quality now the burn-in the burn-in here we go again the burn-in like the witch hunt i call it the witch hunt yes it does exist but it's exaggerated it's exaggerated to the point where people out there are afraid and they have the fear that as soon as they buy an OLED like me right now leaving this picture like this they think automatically automatically boom I'm gonna have a burn in right here the Mets.com and all the other sponsors out there it's all gonna be uh, burned in stamped in to my panel that has never happened to me yet I'm not saying that it can't happen but that's why you take a certain precautions that's why you learn about this solid panel and how it works okay And uh, I had, this is my fourth OLED TV. I had B6, C6, C7, and now E8. And I have tested these OLEDs. Like, just look at my videos, guys. Just search my name with the LG uh, OLED C7, B6, C6, and you will see how brutally, brutally, I have tested those panels nothing never had a retention never had any issues with uh, retention or a burn-in nothing just like I never had any issues with bending light on the Sony X 900 E just like I never had any issues with my TCL R617 please guys don't make me put all these televisions in one big giant room and then just show you all of those televisions and the way they work and I haven't to this day still haven't experienced any of these issues and problems now I'm not saying that they don't persist that they don't exist sure but it also depends on how you treat TV it also depends how you take care of your TV just like a car if, if you are forcing that car doing donuts doing some crazy shit shifting the you know that gear and messing around with that clutch chances are you're gonna screw up your transmission it also depends on you how you take care take care of your uh, television you know no one talks about that but guys I want you to understand something I'm not some kind of a OLED ambassador but I'm telling you currently right now if micro LED turns out to be better than OLED dude I'll be the first guy to buy micro LEDs as a matter of fact I'll buy micro LEDs soon as they release it I will buy micro LED television because I want to see if that's the next big thing okay we're gonna have to say goodbye to LCDs guys LCD it's an old technology it's old news it's time for something new something better the emissive panels it's where we're going guys the emissive panels it's where we headed okay LCD has its run had its run it's time for the LCD to pretty much say goodbye and it's time for the emissive panels to say hello I mean look at it this is almost like three-dimensional look at this it almost feels three-dimensional look at this crowd and look at the reflection even on uh, his glasses right there look at that
And this looks a gazillion times better in person. Like I said, my camera here is not doing a jack shit. This looks even better in person. Okay? So what I'm trying to say here is that, guys, if you truly... If you truly want to appreciate your content, your video games, your movies, currently right now, the OLED is that technology. Just imagine, here, let me give you one, one example right here. Just imagine how ridiculous this would look with 33 million pixels on an 89-inch OLED. Let me repeat that one more time. Just imagine how ridiculously three-dimensional popping out of the screen this would look with 33 million what is the 33 million pixels on 89 inch that's 8k <coughs> excuse me 8k resolution ridiculous 8k resolution people talk about 12k and and 24k i said are you nuts are you nuts pass 8k pass 33 million pixels our eyes can't see okay people talk about 24k I said dude are you insane even 8k it's like overkill let me repeat one more time 33 33 million pixels now imagine the OLED technology with 89 inch which exists 89 inch 8k HDMI 2.1 chipset OLED with 33 million pixel and then you can just try to imagine just how insane that's going to look on the OLED the LCD technology can't achieve that level of detail due to the fact that it needs backlit it needs full array of LEDs to lit up that LCD screen. LCD, it's, it's an old technology. Why do you think the Samsung is working on the micro LEDs? Because they know that the LCD, it's a dinosaur. It's a dying dinosaur. And something has to replace it. Whether it's going to be OLED, whether it's going to be micro LEDs, I don't know. But currently, right now, what I do know is that the OLED, currently, right now, if you want to enjoy picture quality, the OLED. It's going to do that for you on the video games and on the movies. Okay? If you want to see this crowd in the best possible detail, you're going to see this crowd only on OLED. Why? Because every and each pixel is able to turn on and off by itself. Why is that a big deal? It is a big deal because... Every and each pixel, it's representing that 8.3 million pixels. Every color. White, red, green, blue, yellow, black. All of it emits by itself. And therefore, with that, with, with that resolution of 8.3 million pixels, and when you add HDR, this is the kind of dramatic... Uh, picture quality you will get and I'm using a video game here MLB obviously I'm using MLB to show uh, and look at this detail this kind of a detail in the viewing angle you can't achieve with an LCD panel people say Z9D 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 Z9F yes it's probably the best LCD panel that you can buy but it's not better than the OLED the Artings does the measurements, others do the measurements, Vincent Theo does the measurements, and even he says, you know, you still can't beat the OLED in terms of that pure pitch black digital levels and the viewing angles. You can beat it. No TV has yet to beat the OLED viewing angles and the OLED perfect pitch black dark levels. No panel has yet to beat. Micro LEDs? Well, we'll see. 
we will see. The jury is still out on that one because no one has yet tried the micro LEDs, so we don't know. We don't exactly know yet. All right, so well, there you have it. Um, again, guys, I know that this video is not going to be uh, pleasing to your ears, to some of you. I understand. Like I said, I'm not here to... I'm not a salesperson. I don't work for LG. I'm not a spokesperson for LG, even though I'm pretty sure LG would appreciate this, and I'm sure they appreciate me uh, saying this. The reason I'm saying this, it's not because I'm bought. I'm not bought. You guys know that. You know I'm independent. You know that I bought this with my own hard-earned cash, and you know how many televisions I have. I have over 4,000 videos since 2014, and you know that I have tried a bunch of televisions monitors projectors etc 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 the reason i'm giving oled a credit because it's the truth you want me to be unbiased you want me to be honest well here i am here i am i am being honest to you and i'm telling you if you care about picture quality Currently, right now, no LCD panel can touch what the OLED is doing. Let me, re let me repeat that one more time. No LCD panel. I don't care how many local dimming zones they put on there. I don't care. No LCD panel can touch what the OLED is doing. And I'll end the video on that note. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good one. And go buy this game. It's a fantastic Major League Baseball game. It looks fantastic in native 4K and HDR. And it looks even better in OLED.